This video is going to look at making DVDs using a program called iDVD. It's the sister package of iMovie and if you've made a video in iMovie you can send your project directly to iDVD by selecting it from the share drop down menu. This tutorial is going to assume that you are making a DVD for an already existing video file um, but the process is exactly the same whether you send a project from iMovie or not. Begin by clicking on the iDVD icon on the dock to launch the program. And once it's loaded, you'll be presented with either a new blank project or with a splash screen. Um, if you present with the splash screen, select new project. Now, iDVD centers around um, preset menus. We can change the appearance of our preset menus by selecting a theme from the themes up here. Some of them are more subtle, like this one here, whereas some of them are more stylized, like this one here. You want to try and select a theme that's closest in appearance to your project, but we can personalize themes by adding content to the drop zones, like this one here. Now, we're going to add our video to our DVD. We have a video here. So we can play that back to see it. And to add that d video to our DVD, we just click and drag it onto our DVD and we let go. We can let go anywhere on the, where we want to place it. And when we let go, a link will be created to the video on our DVD menu with the name of the file. Now in this case that isn't a suitable name, so we can click on it to select and we can change the text just by typing in a new title. We can also, as well as changing the text, we can change the font and the size. We can drag it around our menu to change its position to wherever we want. And this will be the button that a user would select with their remote or click on using their laptop. Now the title at the top here is the name of the theme, but we can change that to be the name of our DVD just simply by clicking on it and editing the text in the same way that we did the video link. We can now drag the title and change its appearance any way that we want. And we can drag and move it around in the same way as we can the link. So now we have brought in a video and changed the name of our DVD. We're ready to customize our theme to match our video. And we do that by dragging content into drop zones. Content can either be videos themselves or they could be still images of various file types. So I have some stills here from the video. And we're going to drag one of them onto the drop zone to customize our menu. So we just click and drag like we did the video and that will add that still image to our DVD menu. If we don't like it, we can drag something else to replace it until we find an image that we're happy with. We get a little preview bar playing a loop of what the menu will look like. And if we press this button here, we can preview the whole DVD. So we can see how the menu operates and we get a little remote control up here. If we press the enter button, it will then start playing the video. If we press the menu button, it will return us to the DVD menu. If we press exit, it will return us back to editing mode. Now, after playing your video back, you might decide that you want to change the theme. And we can do that simply by clicking again on the different theme and apply all of our settings that we've already put in to a new theme. Now some themes, such as this one, have more than one drop zone. So at the moment it's showing the first drop zone, and as it plays through, it will come up with drop zone 2 and 3. We can just drag more stills onto that to add more content to our menu to further personalize it. So as we can see now, it now scrolls through the different images as it plays through in our menu. As you can see, we're still able to 
drag stuff around and we can add multiple videos so in this example we're just putting the same video in again but obviously this could be a different video so you can add as many videos as you want to your DVD as long as the DVD is large enough to fit all the videos and to delete a video from your DVD you simply click on it to select and press the backspace key to delete now in certain gallery situations you will need a video to loop indefinitely once it's started playing to do that we select the video we want to loop by clicking on it we then go to the advanced drop down menu and select loop movie now when that option is selected when you play that video it will now loop indefinitely until the DVD player is switched off so now we have created our DVD and we're happy with our menu and we've added all the videos we need we're now ready to burn our project onto an actual DVD itself now this is a fairly straightforward process and all you need is a blank DVD-R um, minus or plus doesn't matter DVD-RWs won't always work on all players so once you have your DVD you click this button here and it'll ask you to insert your disc your disc has been inserted and DVD will start the process of burning your project to the DVD. This can take quite a length of time depending on how long or how many videos or drop zone contents you have in your project. Um, so at this point it's usually best just to leave the machine running and not to run any other programs and just to wait until it's finished working. Once iDVD has completed burning your DVD your disc is now ready to be played on any DVD player or DVD drive on a computer.